come against Bristol City, and for Fulham it's been a bad few weeks when a promising start to the season has foundered. But their team today sees the return of Steve Earle after a touch of flu, with Malcolm Webster continuing in goal for the injured Peter Miller. As for Bristol City, they field the side that drew with Coventry in midweek in a League Cup tie. So Fulham then kick off, attacking the goal to our left in the white shirts and black shorts. Bristol City in red with white shorts. Fulham, having lost their last four league games, now find themselves after a promising start to the season in 15th place. Bristol City themselves very handily placed fourth in the table. Trevor Taint in their number seven, but the ball, in fact, going off uh, Les Barrett and Tainton with the throw for Bristol City. Here's Fear. Went penalised there for the uh, tackle on the number 11, Keith Fear. So a free kick to Bristol City. Lacey, Gao, and Drum. Cut push with it. Earl. Oh, he didn't give enough of that to Cut push, but Cut push showed great determination there for Fulham and coming away with it now on a good run that we used to associate with George Cohen. But uh, Richie was back very quickly and a corner to Fulham on the far side. Oh, Conway with the corner, flicked on there by. The number eight Earl, back now with Barry Lloyd. And now Busby having his shirt tugged, and it's gone wide in any case, but his shirt was pulled by a Bristol City defender. Fear missing the header, Went was behind him. Conway, back for Cutbush, who's seen a lot of the action so far, but that wasn't a very good piece of it for him. Back for Drysdale again, and now Gao, very industrious in the middle of the field. Oh. Sweeney half came for that and then stopped. And really from that moment of hesitation, the ball has lost the ball and now here's Earl, faced by Rogers. Busby is in the middle and Earl has got Rogers going all ways. Still with Earl and he hit it over and he hit it by the linesman on this side was flagging. Cut push with Fulham's throw. Good piece of running there by Conway to make himself available. Cut push now. Mallory to Slough. Being pushed back by the sheer work rate of these Bristol City players, hustling and harrying all the while. Really is no easy ride for any Fulham player in possession this afternoon, but here's Earl. Crossed deep again towards Barry Lloyd, he came in so well. Busby was right in there too, and finally it was Sweeney who got it away. That's but here's Lloyd. Barrett, Lloyd again to Mullery, really busying to their job now of Fulham, Rogers header away, Mullery, but now there's Ritchie, Lacey caught a little bit in two minds as Gould goes off, and now Bobby Gould is away. Oh, good play there by Paul Wendt as Gould tried to turn it across. Gould fighting on, though, and that time it was Lacey who got it away. The shot on the turn, and it almost got there from Keith Fear. Busby. And now it's Wendt. Lloyd, nice little dummy there for Barrett, and hit well there by Barrett, down by the post. And Bond really had to get down quickly for that one. In now for Bristol City. Gao inside for Fear. Slip past one, slip past another. The cross is stopped by Lacey. Gao again. Cut push. Couldn't really make the right sort of contact. And it'll be now for Drysdale to cross it once more. Towards Emmanuel. And that was a good header by Emmanuel. But had for the moment uh, Webster going the wrong way. Lloyd through the legs of uh, Tainton, but it didn't get through to Barrett again. Earl making a good run towards the touchline to try and get away from the Bristol defence. Lloyd now. Earl. Across there and Fear coming yes! Oh, it's put there! And it goes to Conway, the man who finally touched it home. And the desolate figure there of Len Bond, because it was his mistake as the cross came over. He got a hold of it and dropped it, 
and Conway had the simplest of tasks. Goalkeeper's error. Fulham's goal. 1-0. So Conway, the man who scored it, and Len Bond, the man who really conceded it, the man who was in bed with tonsillitis yesterday, and they're going across to the linesman, and whether they... The referee is the man who counts. Richie nodding it back in again. That could be very dangerous. And a good dive there by Malcolm Webster as Gould went in on him. Ducking very neatly to one side. Drysdale, the game really livened up now. Sweeney to Tainter. Bristol really have got a lot of men forward now. Taking on his fullback so well, Trevor Tainton here. And still taking him on. Looking just for that yard that will give him the cross. And finally has to uh, concede for the corner. And Merrick's in there too. It'll come for Gow. Played gently there to Richie. Crossed in again there. That needs a fist away by Webster. And that's just what it got. And now it's Conway. And now play for Earl. Now this could be very interesting as well as Gow tries to come back. Still with Steve Earl. Still with Earl. Having his shirt tugged and still with Earl. Crossed beautifully. And a goal. Oh, and a magnificent goal for Fulham. Scored by Busby. And made in the most magnificent fashion by Steve Earl. What a tremendous goal. No wonder they're hugging Steve Earl. He ran more than half the length of the field. Jinking past one challenge after the other. Wasn't selfish enough to shoot himself. Crossed it for Busby, and that makes it 2-0. Gillies, fear. Played for Tainton. This looks uh, a bit promising for Bristol City. Still with Tainton. And now with Gillies, played back there for the number two, Sweeney, who couldn't have been more than a foot wide. In fact, I think he just got on the... An errand for the physiotherapist Ron Woolno. Crossed in again there towards Steve Earl once more. There's Busby with a header. And again, just by. Tainton again to Sweeney. Cross to his number three, Drysdale. Gow played nicely there for Drysdale once more. This could be dangerous for Fulham. There's the shot by Gould. Gow desperately trying to cover, and Busby, I thought for the moment, had got the legs of the Bristol City player. Finds Conway instead. Mullery. Cutbush and Busby. Mullery. Momentum has really slowed now, and Bristol have had so much opportunity to get all their men back. But even then, even so, Cutbush has gone way through on the right-hand side. Cutbush again, this time back for Mullery. Crossed in once more to Earl, stabbed nicely back to Conway, and hit beautifully by Conway. So well, in fact, that Bond could only uh, parry it. Earl rounding his man beautifully there, Rogers. Lloyd to Mallory, Conway wanting it on the right and getting it. Cutbush, oh, he kept that in nicely. And a throw to, no, he's given it to Bristolson. And now here's Richie. Ahead of him is Gow. This could be a chance now for Bristol City. Or rather, it's uh, Gillies, the substitute. Now Tainton. Across, and it's there by Trevor Tainton. Over the heads of the ball. And Bristol City have got right back into the game. Wentz had a good and powerful. A hefty kick, though, by the other number five, Rogers. Uh, this game still very much in the balance. Gow, and here's Fear in a very promising position now. This could be the equaliser, and it's saved by Webster.
Gao again, who's passed, put Fear through. And put Fear into uh, Fulham as well. Here's Fear again, this time for Gillies, the substitute. Stopped by Lacey. This really is on a knife edge now, a very good second division match indeed, as Tainton takes it up for Bristol City. Slough was backing off him, Gao hitting one, and that deflected off a Fulham defender. Beyond the reach of the diving uh, Webster, that went over the bar. And Bristol City really are going for them. Boston again, nodded away, that time by Paul Waite. It'll come for fear. Trying to curl one to the far side and up goes Merrick and that's just over. One or two Fulham supporters already beginning to celebrate by throwing those streamers on. It doesn't do anybody any good though. And there goes the final whistle and it's victory for Fulham.